I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a cliff dwelling in Arizona. We're going to take two fingers at the top and underneath put a dot. And from that dot we're going to draw a slightly wavy line. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going all the way over to the right. We come down to the bottom on the left and we take three fingers and we put a dot. And from that dot we're going to draw a curve line down, up, in, out, up, down, up, down, up, down off the page. Come over on the right hand side, two fingers on the right, put a dot. We're going to draw a curve line up, down, up, down, up, down, keep going, up, down, and connect. Come back to the middle part right here. We're going to put two fingers in the center and put a dot. And from that dot we're going to draw a straight line to the left come back to the dot, straight line to the right. Come back to the left, we're going to draw a straight line down, straight line over, and leave it floating. Come on the right hand side, we're going to draw a straight line down, little curve line, straight line down, and leave that floating. Come right over here and let's put a dot. And from that dot we're going to draw a little straight line to the left, little straight line to the right. Come back to the left, we're going to draw a straight line down, straight line over, straight line down, connect on the right, put a little straight diagonal, come back and draw another straight line down, straight line connect. Come back over here about midpoint, we're just going to draw a straight line out, straight line down, little curve line, connect. Come over here, let's connect this line right here and then right at that point we're just going to draw a curve line down, straight line over, straight line down, straight line over, and connect. Come back to this space at the top and draw one, two, three, four straight lines, little cubes, one, two, three, four straight lines, little cube, one, two, three, four straight lines, little cube. Come right here on this face, we're going to draw one, two, three, four straight lines. Come down over here, one, two, three, four straight lines. Jump over over here, one, two, three, four straight lines. And now we're going to come way, not way down, let's put one finger down, put a dot, and from that dot we're going to draw a curve line up, curve line down, curve line over, curve line down, curve line back, straight line up, connect. Inside, one, two, three, four little straight lines, one, two, three, four little straight lines. This is the cliff dwelling. This is really Montezuma Castle. It's a national monument in Arizona. A five-story, 20-room cliff dwelling. It's inside the cliff, which we haven't drawn yet, but now we are. It's striated rock, which is a fancy way of saying a lot of rock is surrounding it. So we're going to start here, bring it up, wavy line, bring it down, and connect. Now, starting over here on the left, we're just going to do up, down, up, down, wavy line. It hits that, jump over, up, down, up, down, wavy line. We're going to be doing a lot of this. So you can just pretty much fill in the space with these wavy lines, jump over, curved lines, wavy lines, 
and each one of these represents straight line, curved line, all the way over, jump over, straight line, curved lines. These all represent striated rock formations because the buildings are literally inside rock. Jump over, go ahead and make it wavy, come back to the right, keep going, wavy, really doesn't matter how you do it as long as you keep your lines somewhat straight. Because now you're going to come back up and you're just going to add curved lines going up and over. Now I'm not making these the same size. I'm doing different designs and that's the way you're going to do it too. You just fill in the space with some more up down curved lines, straight lines, it's up to you. You can mimic what you've already drawn, you can do that. But you're doing all of this because each one of these is a layer of rock. Which gives you some idea as to how they built these right inside the cliff. Keep going, keep going. You can come in and add. Keep going, keep going, jump over, keep going. Okay, come back in. Do the inside wavy lines. You can Google this. It's called Montezuma's Castle in Arizona. And I actually have seen this in person. And it's amazing. Keep going. Make these little lines, indentations. This is all rock. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, I think we're ready to color. Oh, let's add a little couple of lines right here. All right, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my yellow and I am going to give one coat of color, just some up down, up down lines on this part of my bottom. And that is because now I'm going to take light green and go over it. This is shrubbery. This is the green part. This is the shrubbery that is on the front part of the grass. A little bit of grass that you get to see. Not much, just a little. Then once you've done that, get your blue green, your turquoise, and color the sky and it's such a vibrant blue very vibrant blue so go ahead and do this turquoise blue green very vibrant very very colorful solid you'll do better than me but this should be that bright bright blue when you look up okay and again you'll do a better job than me then the rest of this is rock. So if you have access to multicultural crayons, I'm just going to put a layer of apricot, peach, tan over the top of all of my buildings and my rocks. Just you're going to triple color the whole thing. So that gives you that sandstone look, okay? If you don't have this color, don't worry about it. You can use your brown, it's really light. The other color I like to use is a little bit of gray. I'm gonna go over your rocks with some gray. And this pe uh, section right here is a crevice that it's sunk back into. This is all rock. So I'm going to put a little bit of gray on everything. Then the last part is brown. In the brown part, I'm going to do the windows. I'm going to add a couple of lines just to 
give it some depth. And color the background of this crevice that it's in with brown. And then go over my rocks. Oops, this part down here too. And you can really take your time. I'm not doing the best job, but every line you see, the way I always try to do is just put a line of brown. Then you'll get the idea. It doesn't have to be colored in, but follow the lines that you've already done. Okay? And if it looks like your building is disappearing, that's good because that's why they put them in the cliffs. It was for camouflage, to be above their enemies. Very, very smart. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is Montezuma Castle. It's a national monument in Arizona. A good representation of cliff dwellings of the Native Americans. Okay, bye-bye.